So one of the things that has come up more recently as baby boomers are aging is the great wealth transfer. And we've all heard about it, but now it's becoming more and more of something that's kind of in our face, right? And so um, adult kids want to have those conversations with their aging parents and aging parents want to know, are the kids going to do what I kind of want with the money that I have? Um, but it's hard to have that conversation. Nobody says, hey, let's call mom and dad and talk about money tonight. You know, it's not something that kind of comes up. So you really have to be intentional. Uh, and it's also something that you probably should be talking about kind of every five years because life changes um, every five years or so. There's, there's lots of changes that happen during that time period. And so adult kids are thinking, well, what do mom and dad want me to do with this money? What are some of their wishes? Maybe you have you know, a grandchild who has a disability that you want them to be taken care of, or maybe you have a charity that may, you know, means a lot to you and you want you know, some of your money to go towards that. Um, there's also in-laws, right? And how does that play into the dynamics of the wealth transfer as well? So the best thing to do always is have a conversation. Um, adult parents, the aging parents want to make sure also that, you know, there's been some financial education, like if the kids get this money, what are they going to do with it? So why not have those conversations and have that peace of mind all around?